Lesson 257. Let me remember what my purpose is. Hi there. Wouldn't it be wonderful to have a clear purpose guiding us through our lives, helping us navigate through the noise of the world we see? Let's explore what Lesson 257 has to say. Let me remember what my purpose is. If I forget my goal I can be but confused, unsure of what I am, and thus conflicted in my actions. No one can serve contradicting goals and serve them well. Nor can he function without deep distress and great depression. Let us therefore be determined to remember what we want today, that we may unify our thoughts and actions meaningfully, and achieve only what God would have us do this day. Father, Forgiveness is your chosen means for our salvation. Let us not forget today that we can have no will but yours. And thus our purpose must be yours as well, if we would reach the peace you will for us. In other words, we constantly live our lives like we were mindlessly obeying the thought system of the world we see, with its hectic noise and its meaningless goals. Lesson 128 the world I see holds nothing that I want. We are born, grow up, go to school, graduate, start families, grow old, and then we die. If we find ourselves detached from our spiritual truth, it's clear that we feel lost and confused. We lose our sense of identity. Our actions can easily conflict with our true purpose, which, even if forgotten, remains. In this state of uncertainty and conflict, we can't find success or fulfillment. We can become prey to overwhelming stress and depression. Let's change our course today. Let's be determined to remember what we really want, so we can align our thoughts and actions with what God wants for us. While this lesson discusses our purpose, it's also another lesson about forgiveness. Forgiveness is our way to salvation. It's inseparable from the life purpose we're talking about. This is what God wants for us, and this is what we truly want too. Our will is the same as God's. Lesson 74 There is no will but God's. We want to forgive, we want to fulfill our purpose, we want the peace of God. Lesson 122 Forgiveness offers everything I want. We're here to forgive, we're here to love, we're here to think with love, we're here to heal the perception of separation from ourself and from God. But remember, the world will tempt us to think the way it taught us to think. Let's break away from this pattern today. Lesson 21 I am determined to see things differently. Let's adopt another mindset and act accordingly. When our thoughts align with our actions, we find the purpose and direction we seek. Intriguingly, our inner state of mind influences our external reality too. Miracles happen naturally when we think with love. Miracles happen naturally when we think with God. Let me remember what my purpose is. Let me remember what my purpose is. Let me remember what my purpose is. Isn't that just beautiful? Don't you feel as if you've been handed the key to everything you want in life these days? Keep on practicing morning and evening as we've been doing, and take a moment every hour to recall today's idea. If you find yourself feeling lost today, or if someone upsets you, or if you're tempted by a seemingly pointless goal, simply remind yourself. Let me remember what my purpose is. You're on the right track, and with each day, we collectively move closer to peace. See you tomorrow for another enlightening lesson. A quick side note, we're currently delving deep into the section What is Sin? If you haven't yet explored the introduction to this section, please check out the video link that will appear on your screen shortly. If you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, please don't forget to give it a like and leave a comment. Thanks. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. There's a new lesson every day.